name is Miriam Nyoma Swimbo, and this is my Born Too Soon story. See, first pregnancy was fairly easier. I could go out with friends, but I had, you know, pains here and there. Teko's uh, pregnancy was harder. I was on bed rest throughout this entire pregnancy and it started from week 7 all through week 28. I was in pain throughout this particular pregnancy, leading to me having to deliver at 28 weeks because it was either me or the baby. To be honest, what went through my mind was death. There is no proper support in terms of premature babies. Nobody follows up. Well, Sifa is thriving. He's a mathematical genius. Looking at him right now, you cannot even tell that he was a prem baby. You cannot. Teko, on the other hand, is also thriving. The biggest flex for a mother if you give birth prematurely is to have a support system. This is a topic that is not discussed enough. Even when you go for your postpartum checks, nobody asks you, how is your mental health? How are you sleeping? How are you coping? I remember getting into postpartum depression. Three months in, I could not, you know, figure out why I was extremely emotional, how I could handle things, and even just taking care of a preterm baby is not easy. How I got through it was I had a very good support system in my husband and I had a very good support system in my friends as well. You cannot have a thriving baby when you have a mother who is drowning. You cannot. <laughs> <laughs>